Hi there, and welcome to the fifth and final part in the AI reading list series, where we'll discuss the last six items in the reading list. So make sure that you have watched the rest of the videos before continuing with this one, and if you already did that, let's get started. The first item in today's video is this speech to end-to-end speech recognition in English and Mandarin, which, as the title suggests, introduces Deep Speech 2, an improved version of Deep Speech that uses HPC techniques to speed up the experimenting time. Being the first speech recognition system that was able to achieve close to human level performance on various transcription benchmarks. So yeah, definitely read this paper if you are interested in speech recognition and how this field has evolved. The next paper in the reading list is Scaling Laws for Neural Language Models and it studies how language models performance scales with the model size, data size and the amount of compute used during training. And what they found out was that architectural details such as network width or depth have minimal effects and that simple equations govern the dependence of overfitting on model and data size and the dependence of training speed on model size, which could allow us to determine an optimal allocation of a fixed compute budget. So certainly give this paper a go if you want to learn more about how language models scale. The next reading item is a tutorial introduction to the minimum description length principle and it draws a very interesting parallel between data compression and how much a model is able to learn from that data, which helps in selecting the best possible model for our problem. I have to admit that I've just skimmed through the paper since it's a very long read, but if you find this topic interesting, be ready to dive into more than 70 pages of content that talks about the minimum description length. And if you think the last paper was long, the following is an entire doctoral dissertation, written back in 2008, which is called Machine Superintelligence. The thesis explores the theoretical foundations and implications of artificial general intelligence that surpass human intelligence and it dive right into the potential risks associated with superintelligence systems and the necessary precautions to ensure their alignment with human values and safety. So yeah, definitely read this one if you want to learn more about artificial superintelligence. The next item in the list is a book titled Kolmogorov Complexity and Algorithmic Randomness, which explores the theoretical underpinnings of information theory, such as determining the complexity of a string by the length of its shortest possible description. For instance, imagine we have the following sequence, 01010101, which can be described simply as repeat 01 four times, indicating its low complexity. Ilya recommends to read only chapter 14 in the book, but be aware before diving in that the book is quite mathematically dense. And the final item in the series are the reading notes for the famous course CS231N Convolutional Neural Networks for Visual Recognition. Definitely go through this course and the reading notes if you are new to deep learning and computer vision because it covers a lot of the basic things like CNNs, RNNs and basic neural network concepts with a strong emphasis on the practical implementation. And that's the end of the AI reading list series. Please hit the like button if you found it helpful and please let me know if you would like to see more videos like this. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.